Hello folks, welcome to your first Dreamweaver tutorial. I am teaching this with reference to Wheat Ridge High School's website. So once you have Dreamweaver open, DW, it's a green shortcut. First thing we're going to do is we want to switch from designer to classic mode. It just gives us a little more functionality for what we're going to be needing. Okay, now we need to go ahead and set up our site. So I'm going to go to site and new site. Now inside the site name, at this point, uh, there's a few things you can call it. Basically, the name of our site is called Fat Cow. Um, so we can go ahead and, and call it that. But I'm going to go ahead and call my site name Tom M underscore five. OK, now in the local site folder, you'll see this little browse to folder shortcut. OK, now this is a little tricky. We're trying to set up the local place where our stuff is stored. So if you click once on that, your next thing you do is click on desktop. And then we're going to go ahead and find the now we can't find our existing shortcut. We have to go to comp size student share and then we go to students and then we find our particular uh, name. Now my name for this class for one class is what I'm talking about is Tom M5. OK. And I'm just going to hit select. I don't open any of these. I want to select that. OK. Does this have already named a Tom M5? I'm going to call it Tom M5B for now. OK. So I don't have that little red mark. Now don't hit save. Now I have to find the local server. The server, I'll go ahead and go down one from the server. Over here we have a plus sign. Now the plus sign, the name of our server is called Fat Cow. OK, and we're going to connect using FTP. There's some other options, but FTP is our best bet. The FTP address is ftp.fatcow.com. Now, your username is a login name they gave you. For most of you, it's your first name and last initial. A few of you are going to have a number on the end. So um, for this one, my username is Tom M underscore 5. That's just because I'm doing something a little bit different. You won't have the underscore. Now, under password, that's going to be the first letter of your name. And then your birth date, six digits. And at the end of that, you do an exclamation point. Now, click on test to be sure that you got the name and the password correct. And if you see this message, you're in good shape. OK? Now, down here, it's usually going to be best to type in wheatrichhighschool.net then you're going to go ahead and say save okay and at this point everything should be ready we don't need to go to any other settings we would hit save and we say okay and sometimes it's save save done so you'll see over here on the right these are my local things that I've done I've got some photos inside here that we've done I've got a few images of the good ones, and here's something we haven't done yet. OK? Now, to start a basic site, what we're going to do first is we're going to go up to this file, and we're going to say New. OK? Now, before that, let's do one quick change. Go to Edit and Preferences. And inside the Preferences, we're going to go to the New Document. And I want you to change that default type. Most of you have it here. Change the default to HTML5. That's our latest version, and that is what we want to be able to start with. That'll give us the nice code at the top, and I'll say OK. There's some other things we can do on here. It might be worth going to Preview Browser and make sure Chrome is on there. I have it on this one now, but for you guys, you click on the plus sign, you click on Browse, and then what you're going to do is you're going to find Google, you're going to find Chrome, application and then Chrome exe and then you'll hit open okay and that should do it for you I'm gonna hit cancel since it's already on mine and I'll hit cancel here and you want to have it be your prime let me um, I'll go ahead and throw it in there again it's not gonna hurt anything I'll make it the primary browser okay I've already got that there so it's mad at me so I won't worry about it. I'll, I'll hit cancel OK. All right. And then I'm just going to say OK. File, 
new. This is going to give us a brand new page in HTML. So we want to be blank page, HTML, layout, none for right now. Okay. Now this is what's called a WYSIWYG. What you see is what you get. So here's design mode. Here is split mode that helps teach us some code at the same time. And then we have straight code mode. As we get really good, we'll go to that. Now the split mode, I'll stay in for right now. Over on this side, I'm just going to go ahead and type in Tom's web page. Okay. Now I need to do a little something. I want to show you the bottom part of this. So you can see my properties tab because we use that quite a bit. Okay. I'm going to hit enter. And what I want to do now is to go ahead and insert a table. I'm just going to do a basic schedule. Insert table. Now for a schedule, we're talking about how many rows, that's how many down. Since there's seven periods plus one extra, I want to do one of um, these types so it has the top row as a header. Okay? So what I want to have is probably eight rows and four columns. I don't need it a thou yours might say percent, change it to pixels. We prefer working in pixels, and I'll make it six hundred. Okay? And the one, two, and two are pretty good for these ones. Now caption we can go ahead and type in my schedule. Okay? And I'll say okay here. Alright? Now once I have that, I'll go ahead and um, Type in um, period as my first top header. I'll hit tab or move over and I'll say class. You can't see it right now, but there it is. And then I'm going to say teacher. And don't use your mouse if possible. Try to just use the tab and don't try to change any of the sizes on room. Okay? Now what this did was added some coding here. For simplicity right now, I'm going to go to the design mode. Okay? Now, I'm clicking back up here. I want this to be a little bit louder. So I highlight it, I go down to format, and I'm going to call it heading one, and I want to center it. Now the way you center it in this, if you go to CSS and you go right there, that will center it, okay? Actually, we won't, we won't worry about centering it right now. I'll show you a different way of centering, but we'll get there, okay? Now in here, I'm going to go ahead and do my periods. I just went the down arrow to make that faster. It'd be kind of nice if these were centered. So, um, and I can sometimes center them in HTML, but right now it seems to want me to do it in another piece, and I'm not willing to do that right now. Here we go. Um, under horizontal, I'm going to go to center, and that's going to be a nice way of doing it. Okay? And then you, in here, you're going to put in your classes, your teachers, and your room. Okay? Now before I go, I'm going to save this, File, Save As, and this stays outside of your folder, and the name of it has to be index.html. Okay? Now one other thing I want to do before, after I get the schedule done, up here, I'm going to go ahead and put my picture in. So I'm going to hit Enter to have a place to put my picture. And to put the picture in, this is a shortcut for images, or I go Insert Image. I go inside the images folder, and I, there's my school picture. There's the two hundred. There's a two hundred. I've made some other ones, so it doesn't matter which one you use. I kind of like this one, but maybe I'll go with the two hundred by two hundred to show you guys how I want you to do it right now. Alternate text. I'll type in my name. Okay, and I can center this um, in a couple of ways. Actually, I can center it up here under um, format, align. Center. That's how we'll do this one as well. Format, align, center. There's some other fancier ways we can do that, but for right now we'll keep it like this. If I want to center this, I move my mouse to the corner, click once on there, and then down in the Properties tab, you see the Align tab came up, Center. Okay? I'm going to hit Save. Now, if I did everything correctly, and I'm not quite done, but we'll fill all this in. I'm going to go ahead and publish it. Now, to publish it, when this is open and you've already signed up, if you go to the middle right here, we have a few things that are highlighted, get and put. Put is how we publish it. So I'm going to click on put. 
and then I'm going to say yes because I want my pictures and stuff to go through it. And there we have it. Okay. All right. I need this should be it for now. We'll do some more stuff later. Thank you.